707. As I start your message, get in here to your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird here for you. Let's get you what you need to know. All right. Uh, this is a general message, so please take it as for you. Simply leave what is not. The energy is flowing. It will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person's four signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Energies, third party energy, sun, moon, rising. We are open for personal readings. All right. They are Zoom readings. Okay. The camera is optional on Zoom. Also, make sure you are subscribed to your Aries only placements. Love Tarot. All right. Anywhere you in your person has or sharing you could be cross watching for an Aryans you can will and should go ahead and subscribe to the channel over there so you get what you need to know and the messages over there all right let's go ahead let's see what is going on with you guys okay so some someone here could be going through a, tar a tower 707 is also 77 Someone here could be seven life path number. Someone here also could be seeing synchronicities of seven. All right. Everywhere you look, a seven could be in a um a barcode, so to speak. I, I, well, the matrix. Okay, so everywhere you're looking in the matrix, you're seeing sevens. Um, you could be seeing one, two, three, seven, seven, three, seven, uh, seven, uh, five, two, one. Um, it doesn't matter. Seven can also be in your phone number. All right, let's see what's going on. All right. Also, uh, sevens are spiritual numbers. Uh, God does things in sevens. All right, so some of you guys have a lot of angelic energy. Also, the tarot card is the house of God in tarot, so you know. The truth. Someone here found out the truth. It was their wish fulfillment here. Also, the truth made somebody realize something, and now they want wish fulfillment with you. Okay, someone here could have dropped some jewels on somebody. Uh, all my air business are here. Gemini, Libra, and Aqua Arian. Okay. Piscean energy. What else we got here? Uh-huh. <laughs> so we got the nine of Pentacle, Virgo energy, Cancerian energy. Yep, someone here helped this person um, realize the truth. This could have been some exchange of information or someone that knew the truth about you. Cancerian energy with the three of cups. Let's see what this is. Some of you guys got a lot of vines around your house. Okay, they could be like covering your window here. We got the four swords. Okay, so the truth is revealed to this person. This person has been doing a lot of reflecting as well since then about how to be successful. That's what they want. Also, Leo energy. What else we have here? The eight of swords, Gemini energy. So they're stuck on this. The Will of Fortune. Yep, this is faded. Yeah, there's a lot of angelic energy around you. Yeah. Uh, also, this changed things for this person. The Lover's Card. Strong air energy. But this person wants you. We got the Six of Wands and the Lover's Card. <laughs> I mean, they want you bad. They feel like... This also could have been a dream with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. They could have had and made them really realize something here. Really put something into balance. And they feel like you are the missing piece. Nine of Pentacles. They can't stop thinking about this. They are stuck on this. This Ace of Pentacles, they want to offer you something. Now, the problem is this is somebody here that uh, needs to get in their cup. And get in their wands. They need to tell you how they feel. So they can take some action. Or some action can be taken. This person does want things to change between the two of you. They feel like you guys are meant to be together. They also feel like that you guys can have a, sex, uh, a, a sexual. And a successful connection and or relationship. There's like four things that this person thinks about a lot about you and them that they can't seem to be, get over here with the lover's card. So you know that and they know that you are the truth. They know that this love is true love. Ace of Swords to the lover's cards. Let me check the bottom here. Yeah, and that's why that's what they want for fulfillment in this two of cups. It's justice for them. They feel like you bring them justice, yeah. And they feel guided to their spirit guides is leading them to you. Okay. Um 
let's get this angel number and we'll go a little deeper. So we have four, six, eight, nine. Okay, four, six, eight, nine, honey. Angel number four, six, eight, nine. You are in the right place at the right time and everything is in alignment. Take it as a sign of encouragement and trust that the universe has your back. Follow your intuition. Stay true to yourself and keep manifesting the life, the dream in your life. This person feels like that. The only thing they're missing is you. Now, to be honest with you, this could be somebody that they had to go through some things, honey. Some things had to change. There could have been some things they had to heal specifically four to eight things, but four things needed to heal at least before they could offer you something. Um, for some of you guys, this is a new person. Hold up. Oh, shit, you got two new people. So for some of you guys, you did your healing work and now this you it changed the wheel for you. So you got two new offers coming in. This can also be an earth sign and an air um sign, an earth bender and an air bender. Gemini, Libra, and Aqua Arian to Soren Virgo Capricorn. Damn, but these people both they want you. These is lovers. All right. Um, they like you, you, you uh, okay. Let's take a look at these people. Let's take a look at these people. They see, you know, you, them having love with you. With the lover's card. Now, to be honest with you, someone here, um, they've been in jail before. They could have had to pay Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles some money, okay, to get out. Just so you know, someone here also have been in a relationship where they, you know, mental and verbal spells was a big thing. So you start playing with their head and shit like that. It's a damn it moment. Damn it. They will uh, cut no this off. It's off. also what I'm seeing here. Um, Let's take a look at these people. What you got going on? All right. Let's take a look at these people. I want to see this Ace of Coins. So the Ace of Coins energy, Pentacles, is someone here that's a provider. Um, some This is someone that has something to offer. This is also someone here that has some um, shmoney, so you know, abundance. Some of you guys have got a lot of vines going on. Mm, okay. Now, so for some of you guys, someone here is not into shaving. Okay, I'm just letting you know that. All right, so, uh, you, you know... That might be a sad note, but I got to give it how I see. I just saw the star card. You could be connecting to, connecting to a star seed, but this person has healed a lot. Let's look at this Ace of Coins. Yep, this is person that's coming in. Someone here wants to know their information. They want to know how to get in contact with you. This person likes to talk. This is also someone here that will spread your business, honey. They, they sure will. They will tell you people your business. Yeah. Okay, someone here also, um, you know, uh, they might be a little mouthy, but this is someone here, to be quite honest with you, they will stand with you against the haters. Um, they or they don't uh, like, um, how can I say this? They won't let other people dictate them, like, Block them for what they want to do. Yeah, for what they want to offer. This is a king of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. This person got money. Yeah. Now, to be quite honest with you, yeah, honey. <laughs> the lover's card. We love it. Okay. Uh, see, that's the thing. But they'll argue and fight uh, with you about certain shit when you get back. This is also the type of person here. Uh, when you guys are around people, they want you to keep a certain face. Um a certain poise, carry yourself a certain way. Um, here, they don't want you getting ratchet. If there's an argument, there's a fire or some shit that you need to discuss. The Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Fool card, and you want to act the fool to bring shit back in balance. Y'all can do that when y'all get home. Ace of Cups, all right? Or even on the way home. Yeah, call judgment then. Judgment, all right? Uh, this is a, judgment is also the ancestor, so you know that. Um, <laughs> your spirit guides, your angels, your team. So this is someone here that, you know, they could have been taught this, uh, this is the way they were raised okay so this is also someone that's like this person will argue and fight with you if y'all were out in a group and something went down and you that you are expected to have their back if they are right or wrong you correct this person when y'all get home and you tell them you know now you know you was wrong for how things started right i know we had to get booked we had the damn it button. I know we had to get strong. I know we had to throw them bows. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. But when you get back, that's the time for you 
to, you know, express how this person may have wronged to start an argument, to start a fight, to be here. If you were to do that or or jump on somebody else's side because they are wrong. Now, I'm not saying you got the choice to do with it, with however you choose. I'm just telling you the energy of this person here. Um, they will feel like you are choosing sides and you took their side. You ever hear them um, relationships where they're like, no, nah, man, you taking a side. And it's like, no, I'm not. So this is that person. Okay, someone here is into blue eyeshadow, or you could have just wore some. Ooh, spiritual burps. Let's see what else is going on over here with this ace and king of pentacles. This person wants to be a provider. This is the official person. This person got some shmoney. Now, I want to say something. Someone here, um, uh, you know, could be a master number 22. This person could be a street dude. They could, you know, however they official is how they official. Just know this person got some money in there. Official. They don't have to be. I'm just letting you know. I just got to, I got to tell you. Yeah, they and they feel, this person's very sensitive. Yep, I told you. So there's some situations around family. There's something here. They might go through a lot of tough shit in their family. It could, it could be because of what they do. Okay. Um, here and they could be healing from family. So it's like, you know, they want support or they're going to need you to support them. Even if you have to say, look, I finally got everything or the family's other sat with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Ones to what's going on, what this fight and thing is with you and them. So this person has a problem with their family. Okay. And I have to say, in my opinion, you were wrong. Okay. But you need to understand you have to uh handle this person with a lot of care here yeah eight of pentacles you have to make this work yeah i mean this and, and talk to them, them nicely okay but they're thinking about you they hold okay so this is also someone here that's not going to tell you that at first they are dating all right but they think about you you could stand out out of the crowd they got you in high honor and you're the one they want to take a chance but they don't tell you that Seven of Swords at first um, here, but you are the gift. This person wants to jump in your DM text message for some of you guys, this new person. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Ace of Swords. <laughs> we got to know what's going on because now for some of you guys, you couldn't, you're going to resonate with either or person or both energies here. What's the Ace of Swords? Hmm. There, it could be Helen or something where you are. Something like that. Ace of Swords. The, a King of Cups. Okay, this is someone that's a dad. This is someone here that really likes you there and their feelings about you. Damn! You've got the King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups, Ace of Cups. Ooh! Damn it. This person falls in love fast. They said where their heart and their sleeve, the King of Cups usually do. Um, someone here also can have a Scorpion placement. This person has a strong scorpion placement. Um, yeah. This is all this oh child. This person here, first of all, this person is sexual. Now, this is this is also someone that has a lot of secrets. They got secret karma. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. They could be in a three of swords energy. Um, what's the seven of swords? This is a, so this King of Cups got a secret. This is also someone here that likes to hide what they feeling. Old oh, child, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, they got a legal situation here. King of Swords, the Justice Court. They can also be in spiritual court. Okay, the Hangman. This could be someone here that's still on probation or some shit like that, or parole. So you know that. Yeah, they're still in the Hangman position. Um, they're still under some kind of arrest. OK, um, they might not tell you someone here goes to see the parole board. They said parole board or they're on parole. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's what this is. And they're not going to tell you they could feel like you're going to judge them or some shit like that. Yeah, they do. This is the, 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 the also. Going through the situation, whatever this is, they could have did some little bit of jail time. This 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 really put a toll on your person. The Virgo, the house of health. Yeah, they got bad health. They could have also uh, manifested some kind of disease from stress. They might not look the way they used to look if you was to look at like a younger picture than, of them. What was that? Show me what's going on here, please. What's going on?
options. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. All right, all right. Yep, the chair. Yeah, yeah. They asked went to jail over some money. Um, um, they could have had something is here about finances. Them, them juggling. Um, here, something here was illegal, baby. Yeah, something here. Yep, six of pentacles. It's about some money. Something here was illegal, so that's what the, that's what is behind here. Now, uh, so uh, for some of you guys, that is going on with this person. Others, other you guys, this is spiritual. This is something that they could have did against somebody involving some money, and they've been in spiritual court behind this. And um, you know, they are juggling right now. They are uh, could be also be a monitor by their gods, by uh, spiritual court to make sure they're doing what the hell they're supposed to do. All right, um, here so they can rebalance their life back out. What is uh this right here? What else is going on with this uh, person over here? Yeah, change. They had to change. Things change for this person. This is also someone that just moved or had to move or lost a house or some shit like that. We got the nine of pentacles. Yeah. They could have lost their family. Karma. Six of cups. Yep. Mm. Yeah, things change over time. Yeah, they're a little bit nervous about you finding out the truth about what happened with the money situation here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I told you, there's, there's, and there's talk about this. This is also someone that's known in the community. There's talk in the community. Mm. Yeah, about what happened. So this is known where this person could live at, what happened. This could have been why they had to move. To get away from people. People could look at this person as being sneaky as fuck with the fox energy. Damn, child. Not again. Yeah. Oh, child, so something here could have happened like again. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Hmm. What's the four swords? So that was also, yeah, I thought so, the Eight of Swords, yeah. So that was part of the Eight of Swords. That also represents jail, why they were stuck or some shit. What's this? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and they was blocked. They been blocked, honey. All right, let's see what the Four Swords is. So they held... But they could still be stuck dealing with this in some sort of way for some of you guys. I want to see what this Four of Swords is. What's the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here? Mm. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, they had to let some things go. All right. For some of you guys, or you could have let, I told you, you healed from certain things. Yeah, it's bringing in this new cycle of love. Queen of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Now, it looks like you're going to choose this King of Cups over here. Yeah. And um, this other person could be swole because you took another way or you didn't take action towards them. And that's what they thought you was going to do. <laughs> So you might be, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So you might be like, you know, uh, could have told that somebody here might know somebody is dating or something. This is, I told you this energy over here. Or maybe you did, you going to find out that this person was actually dating. Remember I said that earlier. That car head came out. Yeah. <laughs> and you, this could have pushed you right in the hands of this person over here. Oops. Sorry, guys. I got a card going on here. Because of that, I'm going to just hit this pile one more time just to make sure everything came out that I need, needed to come out here. What else do we need to know? Over here, please. Anything? Oh, damn. Yep, five of cups came right back out to the king of wands. Yeah, so your other person going to be slow because you went towards this other person because you figured out that they could—they didn't tell you the truth that they were dating. Yeah, their decisions on dating. Three of pentacles. So you could, yeah, this is what's going to make you hold back or, or something like that. Or this could be this person against you guys, okay? Yeah, of, of moving quick towards making this offer, okay? Oh, yeah, that's the five of wands. So that's a rumor. So you're going to hear about this person dating or you're going to know something or you know how shit come out. As soon as you start dating somebody, it's like you just find out all their information and that's what's going to make you date this other person. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles to the King of Cups. 
Okay. What else we need to know? Yeah. Yep. That's it. So you're going to accept an offer or even make an off, uh, 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 offer? What's the Eight of Swords? Let's just clarify the Eight of Swords real quick, guys. And we'll get some overall energy here. What's the Eight of Swords? Damn. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. So you're going to make a decision, yeah, to who you want to work on a block. That's why, yeah, this is the future. This is why this all is going to, this is what's going to play out in the future and doing this relationship for one. Um, block this other person off. Yeah, it's tricky. They're tricky. Seven of Wands. Hell no. Yeah, to the Seven of Swords. I can't make it up. Tricky as fuck. So that's what that's what it is. So you got somebody. Yeah, I understand that. That may it might it's gonna draw you in some insecurity. So you got two new uh cycles coming in. It could be either or here, but this other cycle isn't gonna work because you're gonna find out or hear a rumor that this person was dating. It could have been honest and authentic with you. Is uh is also what I'm getting. Is what they should have did to make this work. Like. I don't, oh, they said not this one. All right. This one. Okay. You know, I mean, so you could feel like, I don't know if I trust you. Like, you ain't tell me. And, uh, and this other one, person, like, they might have a past. They, they heal them from shit, but they ain't lie. At least I know what I'm working with. You, Yeah, something like that is here. Whether this is a man or a woman. Someone here could be from New York. Uh, Someone here could be from New Orleans. Someone here could also be from Compton, from L.A. Someone here likes like turtlenecks up under their leather jackets or something. A masculine here. Yeah, we got unfinished uh, business here. I told you someone here is just going to send you a friend request here. All right, something like that on one of your platform. But there's talk. Yeah, just you're gonna find out talk, talk about a karmic. Let's see what the rumor is. Yep, and that's why you're gonna feel like this person was playing games. Yeah, and you're gonna kill because this person was too cocky. Let's see what's going on with the karmic child. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Show me the karmic. Hold on, I'm seeing the golden girls. Show me the karmic. This was somebody was having sex with and they left out in the cold. All right. But they, they, okay, so they were, they left somebody out in the cold. And there's still talk about around this or something. Yep, this Queen of Wands. All right, what's the uh, karmic card? What is this karmic? This is the karmic card. Okay, where this is a man or a woman. This is the karmic lady in this deck. Let's see what's going on here. Show me this person here, please. Can I see that person? Hmm. Let's see. This is a baby mama. That they left out in a cold or some shit. There's rumors, there's talk. Uh, for others of you guys, it doesn't have to be this is somebody they had feelings for. Yeah. It was too much pressure here. Nine of Cups. Now they did have feelings, but things changed. Things ended and changed. It ain't been over. It's been baby and broken up for a minute. Eight of ones. But this person, oh, this baby's mama's not over them. That's why. So they still have energy connected to this person. Show me something else. What's the ten of ones? What's the ten of ones? What is the ten of ones here? Or this baby daddy. What's the ten of ones? This is also someone here. Um, They had a drug habit or some sort. Smoked a lot, drink a lot, some shit like that. The five of pentacles are real. Yeah, they want your person back. They're trying to figure out what this person is doing. Knight of Cups energy. Yeah, trying to figure out, get evidence on this person because they want to end their Ten of Cups. <laughs> and they've been doing this for a while, but they're bad. They're a karmic Six of Cups. Karma. They're a karmic. Mm. All right, so that's what this is. Let's see what the overall energy is here. What else we need to know? That's what this is, though. All right. Uh, yep, now they're wishing here, hesitating, that they would have hesitated from fucking with this other person over here. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it's just like a karmic that won't leave them.
Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. They learned that this person does... They learned this person. This is a tricky-ass manipulative person. That's what it is. They do, like, verbal, mental, you know, uh, spells that don't have to be literal. This is not literal spell work. This is just manipulation of some sort. Yeah. Uh-uh. They don't want it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what they want to say to you, honey. That's what this is. All right. Take it how it resonates with you guys. Okay. So, um, love looks good. I mean, there's a lot of new cycles going on in the new world. I noticed that. But uh, there's still some karmic attachments from the old world, from the past that's coming in. I was trying to do spell work on you guys. This is someone that's like, I feel lonely. Is it over? The heat between us is intense. For some of you guys, you're letting somebody um go for somebody else. Yep, you were right. And they know you were right. They're scared that you're going to reject them. And it's like a whole karmic situation over here going on. Take it how it resonates with you guys. That's what this is. Let's uh, get this person's feelings and emotions towards you. And we'll get some letters. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's what this is. Okay. Now, yeah. That's just... Well... Karmics do what they do, baby. It's dark and you can't see an effing thing. See, you, you're not going to see this right away or something like that. Yeah, sit back and relax. You just chilling. Yeah, all right. And this person's going to be... Someone here is also jealous because this person wants to spend money on you. Uh, what's this? You think you got them all figured out. See, if someone here thought they had uh, somebody all figured out, they don't. Somebody here... There's a karmic attachment to uh, this person here. Now, for some of you guys, you know, you still have the right to choose either or, but this is what's coming with these cycles coming in for you. Mm -hmm. Let's get these letters. And what's attached to these people? You know, whoever, you know, is your person. <clears throat> what, is it? what else is here? What's the letters here? What's the letters here? Oh, Archangel Zekiel. Yeah, for doing magic. Archangel, Archangel Zekiel. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Oh, my throat. They're trying to stop me, child. No, we ain't. <laughs> we gonna have a demo moment because I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, baby. They tried to stop me from talking to you. Archangel Zekiel guards like rituals and magic. Yeah. And this was a ritual they could have been doing over and over trying to manipulate. And someone here, they it's like they there is uh energy. Now, see, this is where it gets tricky because this person here could have, you know, you might see what makes this person tricky over here and why they're all around this fox energy, because they got connections to karmic. And this is a baby's dad, baby's mama situation for some of you guys. They're still talking. They're still trying to figure this person out. Try they're still connected energetically. So it's going to come up in y'all's energy. Yeah, I told you. Third chakra. They tried to close my third chakra. So, yes, they just confirmed that for me. And this is someone that needs to talk to you. We got E and we got Z. Someone here is an E, Z, E fan as well. I just... Um, her name just showed me the easy E card. I believe it came out. I don't feel like going through them, honey. Yeah, and R. Someone's nickname could be Riri. Let's get a love oracle message. Yeah. What's the love or cool messages for the collective? Mm. Thank you. What's the love or cool messages? What's the love or cool messages for the collective, please? What's the love or cool message for the collective? Love or cool message. Mm, that's a lot. Patience for a misunderstanding. I can't make it up. Abound. They're all around. And they're going to want to heal it. 
look, romantic night, appointment date. Someone here, they're going to try to take you out, maybe, to try to heal this when it's all come out. Yeah, take it how it resonates. Yeah, and they're going to ask, for, you know, how maybe somebody to, you know, like, for guidance and support. Like, how the fuck do I get my ass out or out of this, away from this person, out of my energy, because they're fucking up my new connection and new relationships. This person's going to try to make you continue talking to them. But I feel like this is going to have you make a choice because you still have another offer that that comes that somebody's dealing with. And it looks like this person's cleaning up their shit. So it's like, you know, you don't have to deal with all of that. Yeah, because it's fucking poison and it's toxic. It's like you gotta, yeah. And they're gonna try to seduce you to, to maybe not get you to leave, but it's like you got to deal with all of that over there. It's, it's the energy coming. that's coming out. Wait for it. Damn it. Let's get you some sea melodies. Let's see what the Mermans want to say here, honey. But it's like, I mean, ooh. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Protection. So you are protected from this. All right? Strength. All right. This person is trying to get strong enough to, to uh, this is also someone here that's going to tell you they're, they can protect you. I'll protect you from this. They feel like they're strong enough to handle this. Yeah, safety. I mean, what? so this baby mom might like to fight because the five of ones also represents like a fight. Child, please don't tell me y'all going, this person going to try to come and fight you. This person's baby's mom or baby's daddy going to fight you. <sighs> Because the five of ones is arguments, rumors, gossip, fight, and bickering, even physical. That's why it's one's energy. Reflect. Yeah. The fuck? Somebody's baby's dad or baby's mama want to fight you because they're jealous that this person is moving on. Period. So now this makes it interesting because knowing that it might make you, you know, maybe shit. Because ain't nobody scary. I'm not going to not date somebody because you're fucking mad that this person don't want to be with you. This could be also someone here that tries to fight and argue and run off every person that this person meets and try to date here. So this is someone here that feels like they they know this person don't want to fight you. <sighs> oh my God. So even if it wasn't you, just anybody that this person is connecting to this is what they will do. And they have done this in the past, basically. So, sit your ass down. Some of you guys are Friday fans. Get the fuck out of here. This is like, like, no. All right. I just can't. Yeah, so prudence. So, some of you guys, you know, yeah. Don't be lured by the siren song. So you guys might get the strength and continue once you figure out everything with this person. This could be also why they're being sneaky, but 14 breaking down to five, things change. Because of you figuring out that their ex-baby's mom, baby, dad is retarded as fuck. We got earth energy to soy and Virgo Capricorn. So soulmates, twin flame, earth signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I knew I was going to see this. Damn, Damn I was Damn just going to say this. Damn so they're mad. It. Mars, they want to fight it. the planet of war. This is someone's baby's dad or baby's mama that's going to want to fight you. We're seeing in the future here. Second house, Tessorian is here. Aries energy. Okay. Cancerian. Yep, Aries. I can't make this up. Mm. Yep, and this is Saturn kicking somebody's ass. This is karma coming in for a baby's dad or baby's mom. So you know. All right, they lost, you know, whatever they were supposed to have. If they were supposed to have been in your person's life, it was for a lesson. Someone here also could have figured out who their, like, open house enemy is. That's what this is, like, seeming like to me here. Yeah. Yep, I was just going to say this. 11th house, Libran, Aqua Aryan. In the new world, everything is exposed. Someone here could be Aqua Aryan. Libran also shows your your uh, open house enemies, even in your fucking family. This is an open enemy to this person, honey. Now, you could be any of those signs that I called. Earth signs and fire signs. Twin flames and soulmates are here. All right, I love you all. Stay dope.
Don't forget to connect your frequencies to your tarot readings, hitting that bell, hitting all, keep you tapped into your spiritual conversations. I love you all, and I will see you the next time you stop by in your next video upload. Ashe Neymar.